SR-71 vs SR-72, Son of Blackbird to replace the legendary Blackbird. First in 2013, Lockheed Martin announced the development of the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. The SR-72 is the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. The SR-71 was capable of reaching speeds over three times the speed of sound, and the SR-72 is intended to have even more impressive specs. Built by Lockheed Martin in the 1960s, the SR-71 could reach speeds exceeding Mach 3, above 2,200 miles per hour. Lockheed's division for advanced we've been saying hypersonics is two years away for the last 20 years. Recently, in Top Gun, Maverick, Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell takes his need for speed to a new realm, the hypersonic realm, that is. Mitchell is a test pilot flying the SR-72 Dark Star airplane. According to Lockheed Martin, the production team behind Top Gun, Maverick contacted the company's Skunk Works division to assist with the SR-72 concept. The Top Gun team made a logical choice. After all, the fictional SR-72 Dark Star hypersonic aircraft is meant as a follow-on to the SR-71, which the Skunk Works also developed. Both are high-speed, manned strategic reconnaissance jets. The difference is that while the SR-71 had a top speed of Mach 3.3, the movie's SR-72 is firmly in hypersonic territory, reaching Mach 10. But is the movie version closer to reality than one might suspect? The movie SR-72 bears a resemblance to Skunk Works concept art for the real-world uncrewed SR-72, also a hypersonic strategic reconnaissance aircraft, first announced in 2016. The aircraft features a long blended wing and fuselage and small cranked arrow wings. The Skunk Works logo is prominent on the visible tail fin. According to the Washington Post, then Lockmart CEO Marilyn Hewson described it at the time as a Mach 6 capable jet. SR-72 is virtually identical to a 2016 rendering that Lockheed Martin released on its website, right down to the Skunk Works logo on the tail. The only major difference is the addition of pilot cockpit windows on the left and right of the movie SR-72, whereas the real-world plane will be uncrewed and would not need any. Hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across a continent in less than an hour, said Brad Leland, Lockheed Martin program manager, Hypersonics. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game-changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today. The movie SR-72 could be a lot closer to a real aircraft, than the general public realizes. There's no Pentagon contract to build the real-world SR-72 yet, so far, it's an internal Lockheed Martin effort, so it may never actually be built. But it seems likely that what's on the silver screen is very much along the lines of what at least one defense contractor believes is a plausible aircraft. Unfortunately, it won't have room inside for Tom Cruise. The SR-72, but if Lockheed's timeline holds true, it could by flying high above our heads as early as the 2030s. If the Son of Blackbird could become a high-speed strike and reconnaissance aircraft in the warfare of the future, traveling at Mach 5 plus speeds that adversaries would have no time to react or hide. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.